everyone. Hello, hello, hello. It's Skylar Skyton here. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I apologize. I've been very sad lately. <laughs> so I haven't been very in the creative and video making mood. But coming up exactly a few hours, I don't know, um, is the start of the annual reading rush. This is my first time that I'm going to be participating in the reading rush because this is the first time that I have heard of the reading rush kind of getting in here. So I thought to kind of help get me in the mood to making videos again, I thought that I'd do a vlog throughout the whole week of reading rush. Now because I'm going to be um, working a lot uh, during the week and I'm going to be uh, going for a little trip to kind of finalize our whole six months of being here in California uh, this week. I'm not going to be able to do a lot of reading, uh, so I'm probably not going to be getting a lot of footage for this vlog update thing. Um, but you know, it is what it is. I'm going to be trying it out. So my TBR list is kind of, um, it's a little bit short. <laughs> It's not that big, and I'm definitely not going to be hitting all of the challenges for this week, uh, reading rush. But you know what? I'm going to give it my good old try, can do try, and uh, get into doing that. So this video is not only, or this part is not only me going to be saying, convincing myself, and, you know, telling me to <laughs> get this vlog going, um, but I'll also be going through my... TBR with you right now. So, might as well talk about the first one. It's the book that I am going to be reading digitally, so I don't have it on me right now. It is for the, oh my gosh, I am, I just had a cup of coffee, and by a cup of coffee I mean two, so my hand is literally shaking so much. There is no good lighting for this video. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be reading The Life We Bury by Alan Eskins. That's going to be for the birthstone challenge because I am a June baby so I got the pearl for my birthstone and it looks kind of, the cover at least looks a little bit, uh, it kind of matches the, what did I say, the, the smoky white that a pearl is. So I don't know, I think it fits for me personally. I'm gonna be trying to read that one. For the next challenge, um, we're gonna be doing uh, the uh, separate continent of where you live. So the book has to take place on a separate continent uh, than where you live. So I chose to read The Eight. It's gonna be backwards for you guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. The Eight by Catherine Neville. Or Neville, I don't know. You'd say that, uh, but this one takes place in, or at least half of it. I don't know. It's kind of like a weird split thing where there's a story happening in quote unquote this uh, in the 1972, so in the 1970s, and then the other part of the book is taking place in the 1790s in France. So I'm like, this girl is going to Algeria and in the 70s and then in the 1700s it's taking place in the south of france so i'm like cool we're hitting two different um places than where i live so might as well try it it's a little big um for the time that i have but you know the words are kind of big too so hopefully i can get through that um, this is not an order of where of uh, which books i'm reading in what order um this is just how i laid it out <laughs> So the next challenge, um, I'm going to be doubling up actually, it's the reading outside your house one. So the book has to be read completely outside of your house and the reading of a genre that you don't read that much. Now I used to read graphic novels so much when I was younger. I would go through probably five books in a week that were just graphic novels because they are a little bit faster to read because they're mostly pictures, but I just love them. But I haven't been reading them a lot lately as I should be. So to kind of get me into that for this challenge, I'm gonna be reading Witchy uh, by Ariel Slemet Reese. Uh, this was in my Owl Crate box for a few months ago if you saw my live tweet for that. 
So I'm excited to read this because the art style looks really pretty. Um, I really am digging the feel for it. And the story sounds really interesting. It has to do with um, lengths of hair, which I tried. Um, I tried. I'm still kind of in the process of writing a book that has to do with segregation by hair color. So I don't know. The idea for hair thing kind of is getting me excited to read it and to maybe start writing the story again. We'll see. And then the last book I have is covering, even though I could technically double up with this one, I don't want to. I just want to double up for just one book because I think that'd be cheating, <laughs> even though I'm having less time to get through all of them. But whatever. This last uh, challenge that I'm going to be doing is a book that starts with the... Now, uh, three out of the four books that are on my list start with the... But this one, I just want to read because I am so excited when I got it in one of the packs. It's The Dreamers by Karen Thompson Walker. This is about a college student who randomly just passes out and can't be awoken. And then another college student passes out and can't be awoken. And then another. And it just becomes this... I don't want to use the word... Um, it becomes this pandemic um, in this California town uh, where these people who fall asleep, they have like heightened brain activity when they're sleeping. So they're dreaming of something. And then the cover says, but what are they dreaming of? So it's kind of like a thriller of like this girl um, being like, eh, I got to kind of figure out what's going on. I'm scared. Uh so I'm excited to read that. It's an interesting thriller idea. Um, so that's kind of my TBR for this next coming week. We'll see how much I get through. Um, we'll see if I can. My goal is to finish at least two, get halfway through. If I can do that, then that's cool. Maybe, I, I can see myself maybe doing three. But again, we'll see, because I only have seven days. So, so. <laughs> a lot of people I know are going to be uh, staying up till midnight tonight, but I don't have that ability because I work at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. So I'll catch you after work. There's no way I'm going to be presentable um, before because that's uh, still a little early and I don't, I don't want to... <laughs> Peace out till next time. Hello guys, it is currently 7.35 p.m. Monday evening. I said that I wouldn't be doing <laughs> much during the day because of work and I lived up to that promise. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be the same for the next few days because I also work. So yeah, today, right now, I thought that I'd come out to our beautiful patio area and start the book for my out of the house challenge, even though technically I'm still in my housing complex. Um, I'm outside and I'm outside of my apartment, actual apartment, so I'm counting that uh, because there's not many places for me to go right uh, around the area for me to just, you know, sit and read uh, but I get this as my back uh, backdrop it's, it's so pretty <laughs> I'm just enjoying the view while I still have it for a little bit so yeah I said I'm gonna be starting my book uh, for I'm gonna wrap this up because people keep coming by uh, <laughs> I'm reading the book for my out of the house challenge and the read more of the genre challenge which I explained uh, a, a little bit before. It's witchy. Um, gonna start it now and get started before the sun sets even more. So, yay summer. Got a few, maybe half an hour left of that, so. So just some quick updates here, just cause I'm reading. I'm loving this book so far. I'm on page 52, of course, cause things go fast when you're reading graphic novels. But just look. Look at this art style. It is so beautiful. I love the 
like the crudeness of it, you know? Like, it's not straight lines, but it's beautiful. <laughs> I just love different types of art styles, and these character designs are honestly really impressive. They don't look like any other character that I've seen before, which is good because, you know, originality. So I'm going to keep reading this uh, until the sun goes down completely, which I think is going to be in another probably 15 minutes. So after that, I think I'm going to start reading one of the other books that I have to read in bed before I go to sleep. Uh, but I think this is the last time I'm going to be checking in for Monday, so I'll see you guys next time. It's Tuesday, um, I'm able to get out a little more early today because I didn't have to stay late at work. Uh, so I'm back out because I believe I'm going to be finishing Witchy uh, today, right now. So I'm a little, eh, I'm a little over halfway done with it, so my goal is to finish it today. Um, I did a little reading of my other book. A little bit ago. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy this beautiful, beautiful day, the rest of the day at least, and read, and I'll see about what I'm going to be doing for dinner. Happy Thursday, my dudes. So I didn't do any filming yesterday. I didn't do any filming yesterday because... I don't know why. I got too busy reading. And then we went out to look for the comet, which we technically saw. Uh, but it was one of those things where you had to look at it out of the corner of your eye because if you looked straight at it, then it would disappear. But it was still kind of cool. Got to see a lot of stars. Um, so today's plan um, was to start to clean up a little bit the apartment since we're moving out next week. <laughs> so I was gonna do that and then uh, finish this book that I'm on, uh, the second book in the reading rush. I was gonna read outside, but as you can see, it's a little dreary out, uh, which is okay, because I like dreary, but also because they're literally doing <laughs> yoga out in their parking lot. Because we have a yoga place that's literally right next door there. And I was like, cool, whatever. And then all of a sudden this tent popped up and I was like, is there like a concert going on? Or... And if you can't hear it, I certainly can. They are bumping their music. And I'm like, this is not what I signed up for. I did not sign up for this Bristol Farms construction the whole time that we lived here. Hey guys, so after reading me here, um, it is currently 1 p.m. I finished cleaning a little bit of the apartment. It looks a little bit better. Uh, and then I just finished the last 60 or so pages of The Life We Bury, and it got very intense very quickly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I read those last pages in an hour, yeah. <laughs> It went by real fast. So my overall opinion, review of that book, I gave it four out of five stars because I really did enjoy it. Like I flew through it. It took me just a couple days when I had time to read to get through it. So it's a very fast paced book. Um, and I didn't even know it took place in Minnesota, my hometown. So when it's talking about like the Minneapolis area and this horrible snowstorm that uh, come sweeping through. I'm like, I know that. So it had a little bit of a person, uh, per per personal grasp for me. The characters were wonderfully written. They all had great personality. Uh, one of the characters, uh, Joe's younger brother, uh, he had autism and Eskins, uh, <laughs> they did such a good job of personifying because every every person who has autism ha does is different they show it differently 
And the way that uh, the author wrote it for Jeremy, that was the kid, uh, he... It was so realistic, honestly, and I was so impressed by by them being able to create it as a person and not as, like, the face of the disorder, you know? <laughs> Something like that. I don't know what I'm saying, but it was very well crafted. It didn't feel like they were making a jest of it. They were learned on it, I could tell by the writing, and each character had their own distinct personality, so I enjoyed that. A thing that kind of bumped it down a little bit, I didn't enjoy the whole climax or the rising action to the climax and then the climax itself. I knew something like that was going to happen as soon as a part in the book happens that I'm not going to tell you just in case there's no spoilers here. Uh, and so that kind of like dampened it. And then I also didn't like the relationship that happened uh, between the two characters. Um, I liked how it started off and how Joe kind of had to weasel his way into talking to... Oh my gosh, it literally just took me a minute to figure out Lila. That's the name. I'm tired, okay. But I kind of like how he had to pine for Lila's uh, attention first off. And then it took his brother to get her to like start talking. I like that. I liked that he was kind of walking on eggshells around her. And that she was this, like, strong, stoic woman who's like, I'm not talking to you. Uh, but I enjoyed their relationship then, when they were starting to get to know each other because of the case. Uh, and kind of, I liked in seeing that friendship build. But I think that, I guess this is a spoiler, um, them becoming a romantic relation them getting into a romantic relationship was a little it felt a little pushed to me at least i love when thing i love when stories have relationships uh friendly relationships you know it's just a story of friends and their friendship growing not every story needs to have a romantic relationship and I think a lot of people think that it does because people enjoy that. I'm just one who thinks that stories could possibly just be centered around friendships and you know platonic relationships and you don't just have to shove or force uh, romantic romanticities to happen. So that's my thought on The Life We Bury. I'm going to get a little bit into Witchy because I didn't get to do that. Witchy was a graphic novel that I read that I got in my owl crate a few months ago. And I loved it. I loved it. I love online comics. And I think that's what that one was. It's a publication of the online comic. And the art style was just beautiful. I loved it. I loved, like, you You heard my opinions as I was reading it. I loved it. It was great. The story was great. Uh, it left me off at a cliffhanger for that, so I'm going to have to keep uh, reading it online, which I'm okay with because online comics are my home. <laughs> That's where I learned to be when I was just a young adolescent. Uh, and, yeah, I think I'm going to keep... Um, cleaning a little bit now and I might start my next novel. I don't know which one it's going to be. It's either going to be The Eight or The Dreamers. I think it might be The Dreamers because that's the one that I'm most excited to read about right now. But we'll see. So you're probably wondering where I've been. Where was my update for Thursday? Well, it's still, it's Friday. Uh, we're going on a trip. That trip you just probably saw. I don't know where I'm going to be putting this. Whatever. Um, we are in Oakhurst because we're going to go see Yosemite uh, this weekend. So that's going to be taking up some of my time to read. I was able to get like 100 pages into The Dreamers um, and uh, it only took them 30 pages for them to say the word quarantine. So that's good. Uh, and then after that they started throwing everything else like the masks and the uh, 
staying five feet apart, not six. This book was published, at least, uh, this book, oh, at least, is from the 2019, so that was before all of our fun stuff going on right now, so... <laughs> I'm still reading it because the story is still interesting, like it's it's a sleep disease and not a respiratory one yet. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to keep reading it. There's still fun stuff, whatever, if I can, uh, because we're going to be looking at Yal Samachi uh, all, to, all of tomorrow and most of Sunday. And then we're going to go see the Bay Area of San Francisco for the rest of Sunday and then Monday we're going back. And hopefully by then I'll be working on editing this and get it out to you guys. I was taken in the beauty of the falls, right? And you guys, I found Sasquatch.
Hello guys, Editing Skyler here. Um, that was the last of the videos that I took uh, because the Monday that we spent, the sun, half of Sunday we spent in San Francisco, the rest of the Sunday and the rest of the Monday we spent driving, so it wouldn't have been very uh, nice to get a video. I wasn't feeling the best two of those days, so I didn't really want to do videos of that, but basically I made it good um, 100 pages left of my book before I could finish it for that week. Um, and of course, uh, Sunday was kind of when uh, stuff blew up. Uh, something happened with something with the read and rush thing. I don't know. I was I only follow it on Twitter, so I have no idea what happened. Um, I only read a few of the comments and a few of the tweets that came up with it, but I'm still not very uh, well versed in what happened there, so I can't really say or give my opinion much on that uh, because I'm just not uh, very educated on that. So I don't have anything to say on that. Um, that concludes this kind of nice little wrap-up uh, vlog that I did. Um, kind of a big old goodbye to California. Good times, bad times, overall, it was all right. It has really beautiful places to go. And I was really glad that I was able to see it before I had to leave. So I hope you guys enjoyed this nice little vlog. I know it's been a while, like I said. Uh, it's going to be another while because I'm moving back and I'm going to be staying somewhere for a month before I can start doing my videos again. So maybe I'll do a nice little day vlog maybe between the days but don't look forward to it uh but yeah i hope you enjoyed because i really enjoyed making it uh the first video i'm editing on my new video editing software so i'm excited about that i hope it's turning out a little better uh <laughs> than the other videos have been i had a lot of fun doing it so again i'm gonna say for the third time i hope you enjoyed watching if you did hit that subscribe button you'll see me again soonish uh, and like that video. Still don't have an intro, so it's sounding a little rambly. So I'll see you guys later. Hopefully this comes up by the end of tomorrow.